Hello dear viewer, I thought over a cup of coffee this morning, because that's the time of day it is, um, I would have a go, as you can see obviously uh, loading ArduPilot or ArduCopter to be more exact onto a Sparky 2. I saw last night uh, on um, the uh, RG Pilot Facebook group that somebody had successfully done the same and I've got one of these boards lying around so why not? And more importantly instructions are on the wiki and it's all been laid out. I need to wait for instructions for things like this because I'm not one of the smart people that's already got it running. Um, if you want a great example of a smart person getting it running, have a look at Chris. I forced two D's videos of setting up a board. I can't remember the name of the board, a type of board. I'll put a link below, and he's got a flying wing uh, running with it. But at the moment, I believe the only thing that's supported uh, the Sparky Two with the Chibios build is ArduCopter. Uh, I'll wait probably until um, until ArduPlane comes along for it because I think. I don't think these copters have a future. <laughs> That's a bit controversial, isn't it? No, of course they do. But um, yeah, I've downloaded the other firmware, so I'll play after I've made this video, I'll have a play. If this is successful, we'll have a play afterwards. Um, so what do we need to do? Uh, and oh, if you want the very latest and greatest hardware. So what's the point of this? So I can play around with cheaper hardware that I might already, as in this case, have lying around. You might have a rate, an FPV uh, racing drone, be a bit bored with it now, don't know what to do. Well, now you can hoik it out if it's supported. You can put a Chibios build of Ardu, um Copter on it, Ardu Plane on it, uh, add a GPS and get all the, all the good functions that you might like. Not all, all, all the latest functions because, uh, of course... Um, Maybe these older boards don't have all the sensors required on them, but at least it's a good, cheap way in, and much better, again, than buying one of those old 8-bit boards. Stop buying the old 2.6, 2.8 boards. Uh, they are, they're not good for you. And I think I'm right in saying, and developers are now going to shout at me in the comments, but I think this will be running in an equivalence of a Pixhawk 1 um, with this shrunk-down firmware. If you will, the firmware has been shrunk down uh, and sped up, basically, by, yes, clever people. Right, anyway, enough enough waffling, I'm waffling, I'm waffling. So I have already, uh, I'll put the links below, but I've already downloaded all the bits and pieces that I need. Uh, I've got beta flight, so let's drag beta flight across. Did I start beta flight running? Yeah, I did, there it is there. Come on, beta flight, come with me. No, maybe I didn't start beta flight running. But no, I did start beta flight running. There it is, right. There it is, right. Okay. What's the next thing I need to do? Right, the next thing I need to do is I need to short together uh, boot pins, bootloader pins. Uh, 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 where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Hello, bootloader pins. Oh, there they are, right. Okay. Is that them? Yes, there is them. So, where is the screwdriver that I'm holding in my hand? It would be the screwdriver that I'm holding in my hand. So, um, yeah. So there's, there's two pins on here that I'm going to short on the Sparky 2. Other F4 and up boards uh, may have a button or they may have uh, a jumper, a little jumper that you put across. Obviously, that's uh, much easier. This is one of the first boards of the type. So it's still like this, right? So let's do that. Let's get up on the USB lead. So I'm shorting it down before powering it up. Oh, no, that, I, I, didn't, I didn't have to... There we are. All right, screwdriver's in the right place. Uh, right, so I want firmware flasher. And I want the load firmware local. See, I've got several. In the instructions, it shows as Argicopter would be out. So I go like that. Uh, it should say DFU up there, but it hasn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart beta flight. That might have been an error. There we go, DFU. So, uh, firmware flasher on the left. Load firmware local. Uh, there we go. Open up. And flash firmware. And that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is that. It's going to take a while. But it's erasing the firmware head on it. So what can I do? I can add a GPS. Once I've found uh, the connectors for here... And the wiring diagram for GPS, I can add a GPS to this old board. So that means I can get um, 
RTL working if I need it, or I can do simple mapping missions uh, with uh, Multirotor. <laughs> Jobs are good, and, uh, all at a lower cost uh, than buying the latest and greatest. The latest and greatest, if we wanted to buy that, uh, is the Cube um, from Philip Rouser, is uh, the best firmware, a uh, hardware, sorry, that you can buy, and that's that. Comes in two uh, two new versions: the yellow, which is the F7, and the orange, the H7. H7, and those are flying now. Um, so, if you want the best hardware, that's what you need. If you want to dabble and play, then get yourself or pull out of pull out of an old quad and uh, an F4 and outboard. And this is, as I say, I think it's running faster. I stand to be corrected. Will run faster than a Pixel One. Uh, running Chibios with the Chibios build now, right? There we are, verifying, verifying. The paint has dried. Okay, programming successful. All right, let's take that off there. Uh, what should I do? It's gone blue lights. So let's let's disconnect the board. That's what we'll do, and then we will. Can you tell I'm making this up as I go along? Now, uh, I can show you an advantage that I can immediately think of uh, in, in running one of these cheaper boards with, rather than running iNav or something like that. And it's this. If you're using Mission Planner, you've got access via Altitude Angel to all the world's airspace information that you need. And this is free. This is a free service. So, well, they say what they are, Southampton CTR. Now, that's lighter blue, a, a darker blue. <laughs> darker blue than you lighter blue because Farnborough Air Show is coming up so that's advanced warning of no terms that are coming up this is worldwide and if I zoom in uh, somewhere that's not got the control of airspace in it for brevity let's go to Andover it will show you hazards on the ground anyway uh, that's that's well that's that should upload that now right let's just plug this in and see what happens so this is oh no this lead doesn't reach the camera plugging it in Eyes down for a full house. Good luck, everybody. All right, so there we go. So look, there's a school. There's, uh, that might be power lines, I think, running there. So there's an advantage um, over other stuff like INAV. 163, okay, all right. Is it? Yes, 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 it is. Yes, obviously, I have no receiver on it. I have no GPS on it. I set nothing up. But there we go. That's that's how hard it was. <laughs> that's fantastic, isn't it? Um, I don't know what more I can say, other than hurry up and I think. Well, I'm going to try the other firmwares, but I don't think it's working for aircraft yet. Um, and obviously, uh, yeah, helicopters or multi rotors, they have they've got no future. Um, so yeah, really, it's as simple as following absolutely everything that's in here grabbing the right firmware and doing what you just saw me do. So thanks very much, RG Pilot developers. That's truly amazing. Um, this feels feels like going full circle. It's very much part of the Open Pilot project when it started. And um, and now here I am running running RG Pilot code on one of its uh, descendants. Thanks very much for watching. Like, subscribe. Do whatever else you want to do on the Tube of the U. Don't forget to join us at 2100 GMT every Tuesday for drone stuff this week. Cheers for now. Bye-bye.